You guys requested it, a video on cocktail garnishes. Here it is, let's go. All right, so let's start with the butterfly wing zest. So to do it, you will need a large orange, a peeler, and you will also need a knife, a very sharp one that will help you with the process. So first you wanna make a very long zest and to make that, you wanna peel the orange diagonally. Once it's done, you wanna trim it to make it look like an oval or some kind of a flat football shape. Something that will look just like that. And now, with your knife, you want to make a long cut in the middle of the zest, but be careful not to go all the way till the end. You still want to be able to talk with your zest. And then you will make three cuts lengthwise on each side of the cut that you've already made in order to get a zest that will look like this. For the next step, you will need a mini clothespin. Then you will take both ends of your zest, you will put them together, and with your clothespin, you will clip them together. Now you can set that aside, pour your cocktail in a glass, and once you're done, you can clip your garnish on the edge of the glass, just like that, and this is how you make the butterfly wig zest. Okay, so now let's make cucumber garnishes. So for this one, obviously you will need a cucumber. You will also need a pair of tweezers. You will need a cocktail pick. And once again, the peeler. So with the peeler, you will make two long slices of cucumber because we will make two garnishes. For the first one, with the tweezer, you will hold one end of the slice and you will rotate it until you get a beautiful cucumber ribbon. Now, let's put that one aside and make the second garnish. So, for this one, you will simply roll the beginning of the slice with your fingers, then you will stick a cocktail pick in it, and for the rest of the slice, you will make some zigzags all the way till the end until you get something that will look just like this. And be careful not to be too even with your zigzag, that's the beauty of this garnish. Alright, so now let's pour a cocktail in a glass and for the first garnish, what you will do is you will simply make a cut on the roll lengthwise, not longer than one third of the length and that's gonna be perfect to hold on the side of a cocktail glass just like this. And for the second garnish, well, that's pretty straightforward. You're simply gonna place it like this on top of the cocktail. So now, for this one, you will need a cocktail pick, Angostura bitters and a dashing bottle. If you don't have a dashing bottle, don't worry, you can always use a pipette. The the goal here is to make some dots on top of a foam of a sour cocktail. So once you're done, you want to make the dots on top of the foam. You can make as many as you want and then with your pick, you will pass through them to make them look like hearts. And that's it for this one. Alright, so for the next trick, what you will need is some matcha powder with any kind of powder duster. You will need an atomizer filled with 2 to 1 ratio syrup and a cocktail coupe. So with the atomizer, you will spray the sticky syrup on the outside of the glass. I will do it on top of the sink because it can get pretty messy. And once you're done, you will dust the powder on the outside of the glass. The syrup will help the powder to stick to the glass. Uh, so once you've covered the whole thing, it's gonna look like this. So now we're ready to pour a cocktail in it. I just made a delicious matcha and vanilla grasshopper. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you would like to have a full video on this cocktail recipe. All right, so last but not least, this garnish that I've made several times on the channel and many of you asked me how to make it, so here it is. So once again, you wanna make a long orange zest that you will trim into the shape of a parallelogram. So that means two long cuts lengthwise parallel and the end of the zest will also be cut parallel but with an angle. So that's gonna be looking like this. This is your parallelogram. So now you wanna make two other cuts, lengthwise again, but a little diagonal going from one tip towards the other one. Once again, be careful not to go all the way till the end. You want this zest to remain in one piece. So once you're done with both cuts, it should look like a capital N, just like that. So now it's time to flip it and you're gonna rotate it 360 degrees until both tips are reaching each other and then you can cross them over just like this and this is it guys this is how you make this ultimate cocktail garnish so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers